It said to begin in it's like it said to begin the festival, members of the Lupacy and order of woman priests would gather at a sacred cave where the infants woman is well, if I'm saying that right, like you. It's saying Ramus, the founders of Om, were believed to have been killed for by a she wolf or Lupa. You know, you get into that mythological, you know, that BS. It said the priest would sacrifice a goat. So this is what the priest would do. They're going to it. It said the priest would sacrifice a goat for fertility and a dog for pur <laughs> for purification. They would then strip. Remember that they would hey, remember that word strip. They would then strip the goat's hide into strips, dip them to the sacrifice of blood, and take to the streets, gently slapping both women and, and crop fields with the goat's hide. Far from being fearful, warm and women welcome the touch. So this is a heat. Come on, this this hating, man. Why would you want to celebrate these false holidays, man? All you got to do is look up the origin to it. But the black woman, and, and these niggas don't. Jake don't, two thirds don't, you know. They don't. They say, um, woman, women welcome the touch right here. Woman, women welcome the touch of the highs because it was believed to make them more photo in the coming year. Later in the day, according to legend, all the young women in the city would place their names in a big arm, which is uh, a jar. The city bachelors would each choose a name and become paired. For the year with his chosen with his chosen woman. These matches often end in marriages. So right, so let's go into this um Lupercalia. It's a uh Lupercalia, February eleventh, updated February eleventh, on twenty 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 year of oh, Yabba Smash so turning it up. So the original was December thirteenth, twenty seventeen. So it said Lupercalia was an ancient pagan festival held each year in Rome on February the 15th. Although Valentine's Day shared its name with a martyr, Christian saint. Some historians believe the holiday is actually an offshoot of Lupercalia. Unlike Valentine's Day, however, Lupercalia was a bloody. So this is what Valentine's Day goes back to, man. It's an offshoot. Was a bloody, violent, and sexually charged celebration of wash with animal sacrifice. Random matchmaking and cooperly <clears throat> in the hopes of warding off evil spirits and infertility. No one knows the exact origin of Lupercalia, but it has been traced back as far as the 6th century BC, according to Roman legends. The ancient kings, Emulus, or the Romulus, and Remus, his twin nephews and founders of Rome, to be thrown to the so right, blah blah blah, you know. So let's jump down. Let's go into the sacrifice, the ritual sacrifice. All right, so like it said, the ritual sacrifice, Lupercalia, rituals took place in a few places. Lupercal. Cave on Palatine Hill and we're in Roman open air public meeting place called the Comitium. I'm saying that well, right? It's like you. It said the festival began in Lubica Cave with the sacrifice of one or more male goats, a, rep a representation of sexuality in a dog. Confusing madness. It said the sacrifice was performed by Lupacy, a group of Roman priests. Which, hey, I just read these niggas who, what, what they say, they were naked. I'm sick and I find it. Man. It's all good. I know I just read it. It's all good. Okay, it's all good. A little bit like, um, I can find it, though. So, right, it say, um, read it again. Lupercalia, which is two places in a few places. Lupercal Cave on Palatine Hill. We're in the woman's open, 
Oh, shit. They have to put my glasses on. It's right here. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> Slocky about that, but let's let's keep going. It say, um, on Pelantin Hill, we're in the woman, open air, public meeting place called the Comentinium. Comentinium. <laughs> Slocky. It said, the festival began in Lopical Cave with the sacrifice of one more male goats. A representation of sexuality in a dog, the sacrifice was performed by Lupusy, a group of woman priests. Afterwards, the foreheads of two naked Lupusy were smeared with the animal's blood, loosen, using the bloody sacrificing knife. The blood was then was then removed with a piece of milk soaked with wool. Wool is the Lupusy laugh. Wow. Then say um the feast of Lupica. It's an ancient one feast to begin after the ritual sacrifice. So after they got done doing this madness, you know, they started eating, feasting. It said feast to begin after the ritual sacrifice when the feast of Lupica was over, the Lupacy cut strips. Remember, going back to um they would then strip the goats high, right? So it said the lupusy cut strips, also called what? Thongs. <laughs> Not many. <laughs> Come on, man. It's a, also called thongs. So February, which goes back to what? February. <laughs> these strips, these thongs goes back to February. It said of goats hide from the newly sacrificed goats. Come on. They then ran naked or nearly naked around Palatine, whipping any woman within striking distance with the thongs. That's bugged out. Come on, man. So, right. It said, It is true. Valentine Day uses some of the Lupercalia symbols, intentionally or not. Such as the color red, which represents a blood sacrifice. During Lupercalia, the color white, which signified the milk used to wipe the blood clean and represent new life and procreation. So this is madness. This is heathen customs. This is a pagan holiday. We are not supposed to celebrate this, man. It's that like many ancient traditions, they say, there's a lot of haziness surrounding the origins and rituals of Lupercalia and how they influence Valentine's Day. Lupercalia is no longer a mainstream public celebration for obvious reasons, but some non-Christians still recognize the ancient event on February the 14th. You know? So, wait, right, so that's pretty much it on this article, man. Well, man, so let's get on a couple more scriptures. I'm going to end it. Let's go to the... Um, the book of let's go to the book of Sirach. Let's go to the ninth chapter. Sirach nine and on. Let's start at two. Give not that soul unto a woman to set her foot upon that substance, right? You see? What what's what she at? Yeah, yeah, this it right here. He said he don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Fuck these harlots out here, man. All these women, man. You see? Right, man. It said that um, give not that soul unto a woman to set her foot upon a substance. You know, cause they, well, what, 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 um, what, man, they all, man, they just want your money at the end of the day. You know, use you and get rid of you. You know, and when a woman conquer you, hey, she on to the next. Hey, real quick, let's grab to um, grab the book of Proverbs twenty nine and three. Who so loved wisdom with Joseph? His father, but he that keep it company with Hollis, spending his substance. In the NLT, the man whose loves wisdom brings joy to his father, but if he hangs around prostitute, his wealth is wasted. Come on, man. Your substance is wasted, man. So give not that soul unto a woman to set her foot upon that substance. Meet not when a harlot, lest that fall into our snares, right into our traps. Like King Solomon said, I found more better than death than woman. Let's grab it. Class D's 7 and um, 26. I and I found more better than death, that woman whose heart is nails and nets, traps. How they trap your child support and so on, man. 
Men that had, hey, going back to first edge, it's the fourth chapter. It said, whoso pleases the most high shall escape from her. Wait, so, hey, you should be happy as hell she block you, man. You might as well block her back, you know? But it's good to say what? A wicked woman is given to a wicked man, though. So whoso, it said, whoso pleases the most high shall escape from her. But the sinner should be taken by her, exactly. It said, behold, this, I, I'm going to keep going. It said, behold, this have I found, said the preacher. Counted one by one to find the account, to find out the account, was yet my soul seek it, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. Why? Who can find a virtuous woman, right? So let's go back to the Sirach 9. It said 3. Sirach so right 9 3. Meet not with a harlot, lest that fall into our snares, her traps. Now, all these women are harlots, man. These women want to take you out the truth, man. They want you to chase after them and do what they do. Kiss their ass. Bow down to them. Put them on the pedestal, man. Come on, man. It's time to stop chasing these no edges ass on big eyelashes. No. <laughs> it's time to stop, man. You know? It's time to stop, bro. It's time to stop simping. It said, meet now with a harlot, lest that fall to our snails. Use not many, it's like use not much the company of a woman that is a singer, lest they be taken with her attempts. Gaze not on a maid that thou fall not by those things that are precious in her. Give not that soul unto harlots. Why don't give your mind unto these harlots? It's going to destroy you. Chasing after them, chasing after Eve, it's going to destroy you, man. You see? Going back to first edges, the fourth chapter. Give not that soul unto harlots, that that lose not their inheritance, right? Don't lose your crown, man. Don't miss out on salvation because you want to chase some bots, some no good, you know, bot Chevy, you know, <laughs> bots, man. You know, you got plenty of mouths on it. <laughs> Real quick, let's go ask. <clears throat> so, we're at 25. And, um,. Let me see. Let me see something. This whole chapter good. You know what? Let's just read 25. I mean, 24. So at 25 and 24, oh, the woman came in the beginning of sin, and through her we all die, man. That's, that's plain. Chasing out the Eve, man. So why it said um back in six, so right now it says, give not that soul unto harlots that thou lose not the inheritance. Why don't lose your crown, man? Focus on salvation. Focus on pleasing Yahweh my shot. Chase, chase out the wisdom. Chase out the Sophia, man. Wisdom. You know, these women don't have um wisdom. Hey, it say on um, the most high had departed her for um what's that job? Damn, what's that job? Um Bear with me, Baba Kashai. Chapter 39. Chapter 39. You know, I'm just putting the... Um, I'm, put, I'm putting in the comment box, you know. The most I had departed her from wisdom. Um, let me type in departed. Let me see something. Damn. Yeah, I just put in the description box. So like you. Um, going back to select so like nine and uh, seven. It said, "Look not round about thee in the streets of the city, needed one down the solitary places, though. Why you, you know you looking for like like their future son? <laughs> What's that? Uh, flat, take the flash, like well, the hell, fuck the future son go. You looking for it, man? Don't do that, man." Go on, hey, give not that song to Hollis that thou lose not the inheritance. Look not around about thee. Look not round about thee in the streets of the city. Neither wander down the solitary places to well fight, man. Stop chasing these harlots, man. All these women are harlots, man. You see? The woman you got, she wasn't your first, and you wasn't the first, she a harlot. This, this, hey, that's the truth, man. <laughs> It said, turn away that eye from a beautiful woman and look not upon another beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. For her wit, love is kindled, it's a fire. Right, man. You see? 
Many have been have been deceived, man. That was a desire her net for pleasure. Going back to Sirach on the 25th chapter, man. Sirach 25 and um What's that? 21. Stumbling out the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. Exactly. So, Lord, I want to help you with edify. Just want to do a quick lesson you know, on this, you know. Just brought my spirit to do this. So, hey, once again, give our praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shem El Shai, by Shem Chakodash, the monster, the apostles, and elders of great mystone who teach and we will. Peace and love to the elect.